Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Now, before we start, I'd just like to say a big thank you for all the positive comments that were left in regards to the, uh, the last micro movie, which was called A Proper Job. The film seems to have been very well received, although there were one or two people that were genuinely upset by the contents. I mean, this was not the intention, obviously. The intention was to shock, but not upset people. So please remember that these stories are just that, stories. They're fiction, and nobody at all was harmed in the making of it. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link up above, and you can check it out for yourself. On a brighter note, I think my next micro movie is going to be a sci-fi tale, just like many of you suggested, and probably set in space. Although how I'm going to achieve that from a living room under virus lockdown conditions, I haven't worked out yet. But as I go along, I'll keep you informed. And now, on with the video. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've been looking for ways for one-man movie makers like myself to be able to make movies from places like this under lockdown conditions. Now, one of the more obvious ways, of course, would be animation, where you can produce whole movies just from your tabletop. So I've had a quick look through the Google stores to check out to see if there's any apps that could help me in this process. And I think I've found a cracker. It's free and it gives you everything you need to make your first animation. And by the way, I haven't been paid to say this. They haven't sponsored this video. I just think it's a cracking app. Take a look. The app is called Stop Motion Studio for Android. It's available from the Google Play Store and it's absolutely free. There are one or two paid features available if you want them but they're not required for making animations as this app has pretty much everything you need in the free version. And everything I show you in this demo is done on the free version. Now stop animation does require a rock steady camera, so ideally you need to be using a tripod. But if you don't have one, you can always improvise. This old trick with the clothes pegs works as well as any. OK, so let's turn it on and take a look. It opens up onto this screen, which displays all the movies you've made with it. To create a new movie, just click the big cross. This will take you to the main work screen and offer you the odd hint or tip to boot. To begin, just click on the camera icon here. And the view screen opens up. Along the bottom you will see some controls. Clicking the camera offers you a couple of extras should you want them. The M symbol allows you a few options to set the camera. Auto, that's auto exposure and focus, the camera will do everything. AL, to lock the focus and exposure. Or P, to manually adjust them. The lock exposure and focus is my favourite, and you can choose your focus point just by tapping it on the screen. The little sun symbol gives you exposure compensation, lighter or darker. And the plus symbol will give you a bit of digital zoom if required. But personally, I'm happy with these settings, so let's get started. Stop motion animation requires you to move your model a fraction of an inch between shots. You're basically shooting a movie frame by frame. But this little app really does make it quick and easy. So let's start by making this toy van drive across the table. So I'll start with it just out of frame and take a pick. Then I move it a fraction, then take another pick. As I want the van to appear fast at this point, the movements are fairly big. And I'll shorten them when I want the van to appear slower. It can be hard to judge how far you've moved your model on each click. So they've added a handy little tool called an onion skin. This little blue slider here overlays the previous picture onto the screen and allows you to alter its transparency, producing a ghost image that allows you to compare this shot with the previous shot, making for accurate animation and allowing me to see exactly how far I'm moving the van each time.
When you've finished, click the back arrow and you can see all your shots numbered on the timeline, which you can scrub through like this to examine the movement. Clicking the play arrow here will run through the animation in sequence. Clicking on the settings wheel here will give you access to a number of settings including this one that allows you to change the frames per second that the movie will run by. The standard for this type of animation is 15, as we can see from the default settings, but this control line allows you to change it to pretty much anything you like. Let's change it to a cinematic 24 frames per second and see what it looks like. As you can see, that makes it faster and smoother, but shorter. And it's just as easy to change it back again. When you're finished, you can even record your audio by clicking on the mic symbol. The plus symbol offers us these options. The add images option is a paid option but at just 99 pence it's not extortionate. Likewise, the Titles and Credits option is a paid option, with a catalogue of different options to choose from. The Audio section, however, is free and carries an impressive collection of sound effects. And they sound pretty good. The Theme Music tab likewise has a comprehensive collection of copyright free music to choose from. The Recordings tab gives access to your own recordings made with this app, and the Library gives access to all the recordings and music on your phone. Clicking the back arrow allows you to select a project, and clicking the play arrow will compile your movie and play it for you. The Share option lets you export it as a finished movie file, or an animated GIF, a series of single images, a flipbook, or indeed the whole project. The plus button will instantly duplicate the selected movie as often as you wish, and of course the bin deletes it. Now the great thing about animation is you don't need specialist stuff to do it, you can animate literally anything. Now I wanted to try a quick animation with added dialogue, so I just grabbed a couple of things I had around the house. This, which believe it or not is a novelty bubble bath bottle, and one of these, which is a do-it-yourself clampy thing. So I put them together for an animation, and I ended up with this. Earthling! Direct me to the public toilets immediately, or I shall exterminate you! You what? Quickly! I'm bursting! Yes, over there somewhere. You may live! Yeah, up yours, fascist. So, there you go, easy peasy. Why not download the app and try it out for yourself? And you can post links to your efforts in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get you some extra views. Well, that's all from me from this episode. Don't forget to comment, like and share. Especially share, because that's how the show will grow. And I'll see you here next time on, on The Media Channel. Channel.